Hello everyone, in this demo we will set up a highly available DNS using an OCI network load balancer. Let's look at the architecture diagram. We have two on-premises DNS servers, primary and secondary and an IAS web server hosting onprem.lab.demo. A side-to-side -side VPN is already set up between on-premises and OCI. You can also use fast connect private pairing. In this demo, first we will create a network load balancer, add the private IPs of the on-premises DNS servers as the backend of the network load balancer and use DNS health check policy to monitor the health of the backend DNS servers. Next, we will create a conditional forwarder in OCI resolver for onprem.lab.demo and then we will forward name resolution request to the OCI network load balancer. Now let's proceed with the implementation. These are our on-premises primary and secondary Windows DNS servers and they are synced. So any changes made to the primary DNS server are automatically replicated to the secondary DNS server. This is our on-premises Windows IIS web server where we have hosted a simple web page called onprem.lab.demo. This is a compute instance running on OCI. Before proceeding with the implementation, we will verify the connectivity status with the on-premises DNS resolvers. It looks like both the on-premises DNS servers are working perfectly. Now let's check the OCI default resolver status. As expected, it's not working. Now let's go to the OCI console and complete the remaining setup. We are now in the OCI console. First, we will set up the OCI network load balancer, add the private IPs of the on-premises DNS servers as the backend and enable a DNS health check. Go to the main menu, click on networking, click on network load balancer. Click on create network load balancer. Let's have the system generated name, visibility type private. Select the VCN and submit. Click on next. Select the protocol for the listener. I select any port for this demo. Go next. Uncheck preserve source IP. Add backends backend type IP addresses enter the IP address of the primary DNS server add another backend enter the IP address of the secondary DNS server click on add backends scroll down specify the health check policy select DNS in the query name provide a DNS domain name for the query. Our domain name is onprem.lab.demo. Select the instant failover. This option ensures that even if one request from a source IP and port is directed to a healthy backend server, if that server becomes unhealthy, the subsequent request from that same source IP and port are directed to another healthy server. Click on next, review and click on create network load balancer. We can see that our network load balancer has been provisioned with an overall health status of OK and assigned the IP address 10.0.0.72. These are the security rules for the OCI network load balancer subnet. I'll be using the same security rules for the OCI resolver endpoint. I have allowed all IPs and protocols for this demo. In a production environment, you should allow only TCP and UDP on port 53. Next, we will create a conditional forwarder in the OCI resolver for onprem.lab.demo to forward request to this OCI network load balancer. Click on the main menu, networking. Click on virtual cloud networks. 
select the VCN click on the DNS resolver click on endpoints create endpoint give a name select the subnet endpoint type forwarding click on create endpoint the forwarding endpoint is in the creating state please give it a minute the forwarding endpoint has been created let's create a rule to forward name resolution request to the OCI network load balancer we just created click on rules click on manage rules rule condition domains enter the domain name that is onprem.lab.demo select the endpoint forwarder the destination IP address will be the network load balancers IP address which is 10.0.0.72 click on save changes the resolver is in updating state please give it a minute the resolver is in an active state and the forwarding rule has been added let's proceed with the test we are on an OCI compute instance we will now verify the name resolution using nslookup and curl command the name resolution is working perfectly let's shut down one of the on-premises DNS servers and verify redundancy we have shut down one of the on-premises DNS servers therefore one of the backends is in a critical state let's go to the OCI compute instance and redo the test As you can see, after the implementation of the OCI network load balancer with the on-premises DNS servers as the backend for the load balancer and the use of DNS health check policy to monitor the health of the backend DNS servers along with the OCI DNS conditional forwarder, everything works as expected. This concludes our demo. I hope it's been informative. Thank you for watching.